And South Africa's Afrikaner only town, Orania, must fall. So says the board chair of the Harry Gwala Foundation, Banya Zalisufi. He says Orania isn't inclusive or a symbol of democracy. Lisufi was speaking during a wreath laying ceremony at the grave of struggle icon Harry Gwala. Ian says Pamandla Gorge has got this report. In the Karoo Desert of the Northern Cape lies this whites only establishment, Orania. It was founded in 1991 as apartheid was coming to an end. The town has been the subject of intense debate for years. Now, the Herikwala Foundation board chair, Panyaza Lisufi, says Orania must go. He says the whites only town's existence is not in the spirit of a democratic, non racial society. We understand why that institution was uh, established before. It has lived its time. It's now that that place must be liberated and all South Africans must be allowed to stay wherever they want to stay. We don't say we want to stay with them, but you can't have an institution that is established on the basis of language or on the basis of a, a color of the skin. On honoring struggle stalwart Harry Kuala, Alliance Partners and Kuala's Foundation are calling for his grave site to be declared a national heritage site. He was not a workerist, but he was not also just a Marxist, but he managed to understand and connect the relationship between the class struggle and the national liberation. So we support the call to declare this a national monument. Something Kuala's family says is long overdue. His daughter is calling on young people to continue the struggle started by freedom fighters. A series of events is planned this year to commemorate what would have been Kuala's centenary. This includes lectures to be addressed by current and former leaders of the Trapathat Alliance. Sipamandla Koke, Kwaswaimane, Kwazulu Natal.